you've come so far in life to just give up now. What's up YouTube? It's your girl Destiny Alexis and welcome back to my channel where I motivate women to live their full potential in life and in business. Today's video is all about how do I keep going when life gets hard. So if this video seems interesting to you and this is something that you might be dealing with yourself, make sure that you hit the subscribe button and also stay tuned for more videos to come. The first thing I want you to do is realize that you've come so far in life to just give up now. And I think it wasn't until I sat down, really looked at all the things that I've overcome in life to really realize how blessed that I was at this very moment. And sometimes it can be hard. Everything can cloud you all at once. You can get frustrated, you can get overwhelmed, and life can just seem to just wear on you. When you think about the things that you're going through, just know the same way that you got out of those things before is the same way that God is going to get you through these things now. And so when you feel overwhelmed, when you feel frustrated, always look back at the past and realize how far you've come. The next thing that I would say is remember your why. Now we hear this all the time in business. A lot of entrepreneurs will say, go to your reason why, or what is your reason why? That very same thing can apply to your life as well. So when a person asks you, what is your why? If you don't know, it's time for you to dig a little bit deeper to find out. For me, my why or some of my whys would be the fact that I have a family that I love and cater to and they're what keeps me going in life. Outside of my family, I run a women's empowerment business where I strive to empower and motivate women through life and entrepreneurship the same way that I make these videos to talk to you all and hope, hopefully help you guys through life as well. And so my why is much bigger than just myself. And when you think of your reason why, it has to be bigger than you. So when things get hard and it gets overwhelming and things get frustrating, revert back to your reason why to keep you going. Now, don't think of your reason why as, you know, I have to make money this week to pay my bills or I have to do this because this is how things continue to flow in my life. No, your reason why is something that you actually want. Although these things are your reason why, the biggest and most important part is just making sure that they're much bigger than yourself so that when those challenging times come, you have something to keep you going and keep the momentum going in your life. All right, so the next thing that I would say is make it a habit to keep moving forward. Let me just tell you guys, when I used to be stressed out and overwhelmed, it literally, you have to make a point to keep move, moving forward. And basically what I mean is do not just sit in your feelings. So just because you may not be seeing the results you want in your business, or maybe you're not seeing the results you want in your finances, or maybe your relationship isn't exactly where it needs to be at this very second, just know sitting in it is not moving forward. It's not saying that I have the faith enough to say that I'm gonna push this thing forward even though I don't see the results currently. Moving forward is saying, despite what I see, despite what's around me, despite what it looks like, I am gonna keep moving forward in faith because I know God will turn this thing around. And so moving forward just means not sitting in it, not sitting down, not letting the enemy take control of your life and take control of your circumstances. God is in complete control of everything that you're going through and everything that you're gonna go through. So just know he's gonna use all of this to your benefit, to benefit him and his glory. And so when I look back on my life and I think of all the times that I sat still and I sat down and I literally like let life trample me over, I can literally say I just didn't keep my feet moving. And all it takes is sometimes just changing the playlist from sad music to something more empowering and more motivational. Sometimes it means deleting the person, blocking them off social media so you don't have to deal with the negativity anymore. Sometimes it just means keep going even though the results may not be where you want them to be in your business. Try something new, try something different. That's moving forward. So always keep your feet moving forward. Next, I would say practice acceptance. And this is something that I've recently kind of got a hold of even a little bit more. And basically what I mean by that is not everything in your life, and in fact, most things we don't have control over and we can't change. Now, granted, some things we go through are because of our own actions or lack of, but the things that we do 
have control over, focus on those things. Instead of focusing on the lack of results, focus on what you can do going forward. What you choose to magnify is gonna expand in your life. God tells us all the time, faith without works is dead. He's never gonna give you anything that you can't control and anything that you did not work for, he's not gonna grant you with. Next, I would say pray and ask for guidance. God literally saved me at a time where I literally had no clue with what I was gonna do with my life, what he called me to do. But I just knew I loved helping women. I knew that I loved sharing my story. It was a long time of me praying, talking to God, spending time with God for him to get me clear on what it is he wants me to do. That is the tip. Pray and ask for guidance because God is never going to withhold any good thing from you. And so you have to check yourself sometimes and ask, is what I'm doing or is what I'm asking for something that is gonna glorify God or is it gonna do the complete opposite of that? He is going to give you what is in his will for your life. He is gonna put you on the right path. He is gonna direct you. And even some of the wrong turns that you make is ultimately gonna lead you to where God wants you to be in the long run. Next thing I would say to do when you feel like life is overwhelming, when life gets hard, is to focus a little bit more on your self-care. I cannot tell you guys enough. When I'm overwhelmed, when I'm stressed out, all I wanna do is take a bubble bath, right? All I wanna do is chill, read a book or two, and just chill. Now, not everybody enjoys taking bubble baths or enjoys self-care, but maybe you might be the person that likes to work on your physical appearance, like going to the gym or eating healthier, right? There's so many different ways that self-care can be spun. Like you can do so many different things. So I challenge you to focus a little bit more on your self-care. Find what makes you happy, what brings joy to your life, and do that often because it's really gonna change the way that you feel about yourself. It's gonna change the way that you feel inside. It's gonna make you feel so much better. And prioritizing yourself is super important, not just as a mom, as an individual, as a human being, it's important for you to prioritize yourself because you matter just as much as everyone else in your life matters to you. Next thing I would say, and you guys listen to me very clearly, okay? Get out of your head, okay? And I'm gonna say it again, get out of your head. And I, I was like the queen of stuck in their ways, stuck in their head. You know, I don't have to focus on all the negative things. And sometimes when we sit down and we're stuck in our head, we're literally just magnifying all the negative things. It'll be one negative thought, after the next negative thought after the next and the only way that you can get out of your head is literally trying to do something that you've never done like it's just you have to get your focus off of your mind and sometimes it can be easier said than done but once you make it a habit to stop thinking negative thoughts once you make it a habit to get out of your head it's going to be that much easier so don't get discouraged if you go two three days without having these negative thoughts but on the fourth day you end up having all the negative thoughts just know it all comes a part of the process. So eventually you're gonna get to a point where a negative thought will come in and you dismiss it just as quickly as it comes in. One of the last things I would mention is something that has literally helped me in life and get clear about my life is making goals. And this sounds so cliche, but it's literally true. Because when we work a job, when we work for ourselves, when we're stay-at-home moms, whatever you call it, whatever your, whatever your situation is, we all go through the same things, right? And, you know, when we're in high school, we had like everything planned out for us. And, you know, you had math at this time and science at this time and this and that. And, you know, at the end of school, your goal was to graduate. At the end of college, your goal is to get a degree, right? What happens when you get in the real world and you no longer have those standards set for yourself or those accomplishments that you're working towards. When you're on a job, sometimes you just feel like you are helping this person get rich and you feel like you're doing nothing. When you are running your business, sometimes it just feels like you're running your business and making sales, but what's next, right? And when you're a mom, Sometimes you are doing motherhood acts and being a wife and everything else, but you're like, but what about me? What is it that I offer? What is it that makes me different? You know, I'm not just a mom. What can I offer the world that is not already out there? Making a list of goals has literally made me feel so much better in life for that reason, because it still makes me feel like I am accomplishing something. And even though I have short-term goals and I have long-term goals, eventually I'm going to start accomplishing things and it's going to feel so much better. So if you feel like life is just wearing you down you don't know what to do you don't know what to do next 
Make a list of goals because I promise you, when you start checking those things off, you're gonna feel so much better about yourself because you are in the act of accomplishing and you're focusing on what's next instead of focusing on the negative stuff. I've created like printable worksheets where for instance, this is short-term goals. I also have long-term goals here. And every like six months or so, or whenever the list gets marked off, I just fill out another one of these sheets and I keep it moving and I keep it going because I love seeing the fact that my business is growing because I'm setting goals. My life is expanding because I'm setting goals. You know, my family is achieving certain things because we're setting goals. If you haven't done it ever, I recommend setting goals because it is the best thing that you can do in your life. And that leads me to my next point, which is making a schedule. Honestly, as a new mom, um, I had to learn this because sometimes when, you know, being an entrepreneur, yeah, you can wake up when you want, you can go to work when you want, you can do the things when you want. But honestly, I don't live by that rule because I feel like I should work hard on my business because I believe that God gave me the opportunity to do that. And I know that hard work pays off. You get the results that you work for. So at the end of the day, whatever results you want is the amount of work that you're going to put in. So having a schedule is super important because literally as a new mom, there are so many different appointments we have to go through. Appointments for my son, appointments for myself. There's so many just different things that pop up. And literally if I didn't have a calendar, if I didn't have a schedule, it would not get done. And so if you're like me, it is important for you to have a schedule because it just keeps you on track with life and it keeps your head straight. I don't like to confuse myself because girl, if I get confused, we're in trouble. But yeah, make a schedule because it literally helps and I know that it will help anybody who's interested in being productive in life and just, you know, it just helps you avoid overwhelm. And the last thing I would say is think positively. And I kind of touched on this a little bit ago when I was speaking about the opposite of that. But it's super important for you to think positively in life because if you don't, you'll just let life take you over. You'll let life take you under. And that's not a great feeling. And I used to deal with depression a lot. It was hard for me to have an optimistic mindset when everything around me you know, at one time seemed like it was just crumbling. And so all glory to God that he took me out of those situations, he brought me out of it. And you know, those situations made me stronger for my today. I don't regret anything that I've gone through. I don't regret anything that I've been through because I know that God uses everything for the good of them that love him. I am in a great space in life and just trying to juggle all the different things that I'm doing and all the things I'm trying to do. So if you are someone who loves productivity, who loves new mom content, who is an aspiring entrepreneur, or if you're just hanging out, you just watch this video and maybe you just like me, hey, what's up? Um, but yeah, no, for real, if you like it here, please subscribe, stay a part of the family because I have a lot of stuff that I'm working on. You know, currently I'm working on being a little bit more consistent because there's a lot that I want to put out and you guys know how motherhood can get sometimes. You guys know how life can get sometimes. So just bear with me, bear with me, okay? Um, just a little bit of heads up though. On my channel, I plan to make two videos a week. The first being morning motivation, which would be a video like this where I'm giving you motivation, advice, through entrepreneurship, life, motherhood. A second video a week will be motherhood motivation where I'm showing you guys kind of like a sneak peek into my life. How do I manage motherhood and entrepreneurship? So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Just a reminder to keep going when things get hard. Do not let life tear you down. Don't let life bring you down. You know, we've all dealt with depression. We've all dealt with frustrating times, overwhelm. You know, we've been in those trying situations that literally seem like there's no end, but just trust me and I promise you, everything has a due date. Everything has a season. There's a season for everything. And just know that God uses all of these things to bless you. So I hope that this video was helpful for you. I can't wait to see you guys in the next one. Bye. It's been a minute since I